one of the bigger problems we have uh, from soil that is exposed is that when it rains, the sediment that comes off of it or goes into our stormwater utilities and it, it pollutes our, our waterways. Uh, and you have to treat it, you can't just discharge it. So what we decided to do was to come up with a full scale, almost a scale test of, um, of what would happen when, when it rains and, and how, much, how much soil actually does come off the slope, how can we uh, treat it so that we can, um, uh, how can we collect it first and then treat it. Uh, but also, how can we prevent it from actually starting to erode? And we found that Purdue University and some of the other places, such as San Diego and Texas A&M, have uh, uh, simulators already out there, test beds with simulators. None of them were coming anywhere close to 10 inches an hour, which is our target. By the way, we went and decided to have maybe 20 inches an hour just to give us, uh, in the future, uh, the ability to go with hurricane level uh, you know, rainfall. Uh, we may look at uh, roofing materials on this bed so that you could see what happens as, as you get different slopes of, uh, of uh, different types of you know, Spanish roof versus a regular uh, roof uh, and so on. Our, our uh, immediate project, for example, that's, that we're going to start next month is uh, what happens if you put fertilizer, which we do a lot of, on slopes uh, uh, on the roadside, uh, uh, slopes that you see on embankments. And uh, what happens to the runoff? What is the quality of water that comes off of that? Uh, but the idea was to bump up to Florida-type conditions. We'll test Florida-type soils, Florida conditions, and no one does that in the United States. And as far as I know, no one has a bed this size in the world. So it's, it's a unique facility we've designed here to come up with data that we can think is meaningful, both to the research community, but ultimately to the Florida Department of Environmental Protection that's interested in reducing the water pollution in our, uh, in our state.